Welcome to NXT. The future is now here on NXT. Coming to you live from the heart of the South in Mobile, Alabama. We're coming to you live from Mobile. We've got one of the best lineups in WWE history, so stay tuned. All that incredible WWE action is coming up next, so call a friend and meet us on the other side. And what a lineup on this card, starting with a bang. Singles action coming your way. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Going to be good. It will be Ty Dillinger taking on some tough competition. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Niagara Falls, Canada. And his opponent, representing the Lucha Dragons from Japan, weighing in at 203 pounds, Tyler Justin. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. Big match for him here tonight. Thank you for choosing to spend your evening with us. I'm Michael Cole alongside, as always, Jerry the King Wall. And I can't think of another place I'd rather be, Michael. This one should be great, and it's just gonna keep getting better as the night goes on. So taking a look at Ty Dillinger, any thoughts come to mind? He undoubtedly stands out from the pack with that larger-than-life, bold personality of his. It's still early, but I really like his chances here tonight. He certainly looks more focused than I remember seeing him in recent weeks. Yeah, and if he wants to be considered one of the best, he's going to have to prove it tonight. region looks like he's starting to sweat now well he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one it looks like his toughness is about to be tested well it's hard to argue that but i'd say this one could go either way wow he just slammed him with ease and almost slammed him right through the ring floor he anticipated that move perfectly He's starting to stumble here. This could be the start of it. Oh, he's obviously he's got plenty of gas left in his tank. You're right. He kicked out with ease. Well, I've never 
seen him do that before. Oh, and he got dropped. <laughs> really pushing his opponent to the limit here. He's going for it all. This could be it. Incoming. That's a brutal way to have to land on the canvas. No kidding. That really hurt my back. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. And he reversed it. Good move there. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Come on. Now he just wants that insult injury. Yeah, this guy's a mean streak. The shoulders are dead. This one's not over yet. Not over yet, but how much longer can it go? After the added punishment he suffered, it's simply amazing that he's still in this one. He's looking a little off balance. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. We got a cover. I'm a bit surprised that we saw a pin attempt here, King. I don't think he's done nearly enough to get the one, two, three. Oh, I absolutely agree. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. He's just toying with the competition order. Display of unmitigated strength. The ring mat's in pain after that one. Yeah, you're right. I think that hurt the ring and him. Great reversal. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Well, well, well. That's the first time tonight we've seen that move. I wouldn't mind seeing it a little more often. And he goes for the neck breaker. And he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. At this point, you think he'd have that move well scouted. Oh, no. Talk about getting launched out of the ring. Wow, he's still down after that. A fever pitch is here in the WWE Universe. You're right about that. The crowd is buzzing. They're ready for this thing to get underway. Well, he was able to reverse and get out of that. What a counter. He was one step ahead on that one. Feeling this isn't going to end well for him. And this has got to be it. It's it. It's over. And the shoulder's up. It's only two. My God, what's it going to take? I don't know. I can't believe this, Michael. Well, it's going to take more than that to keep him down tonight. Walks it in with a vengeance. Oh, man. He came down hard with that. This guy can go toe to toe with anybody. Until now, this might be a pivotal point in this match. And I gotta say, these guys are good. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have pulled the blood of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. He's showing no signs of letting up. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Not this. more how much more are you willing to pay to win this match will it be one two three. and you can put this singles match in the books
Justice! When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. It'll be the Wyatt family versus American Alpha. Oh, yes! Well, one thing's for certain, with Luke Harper competing, this is not going to be a clinic in scientific wrestling. Oh, no, you're right about that. But you can't count on Luke Harper terrorizing his competition. This guy's a stud. I don't see many losses in his future. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 445 pounds, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable, American Alpha. Here comes Jason. Thank you for joining us on the WWE Network for NXT. I'm Michael Cole, alongside my broadcast partner, Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, I'm so excited. What an opportunity this is for these NXT superstars to impress our network audience. This one's going to be great. Jason Jordan, what must he be thinking now? In a tag team, being a good partner is as important as anything else. How can he do his part tonight? in this one. I like the pairing, Michael. These two work so well together as a team. What I can say is this team will be the, well, more than ready to take full advantage of a mistake that his adversaries make and use it against them to get the win. When Luke Harper enters a venue, a chilling hush comes over the entire building. The audience in the WWE locker room is waiting to witness a hellacious mauling. Rest assured, Harper's assault will not be for the faint of heart. Oh no! Talk about getting lost! 
launched out of the ring. You know, Michael, you can see what happens to an audience when that Wyatt family is lurking. There's no doubt that Luke Harper walks at the same haunting pace as their entrance music. And it's getting the you-know-what out of everyone, including Harper's opponent. One move after the other. It's devastating. This is hard to watch. This is going to be bad. Luke Harper visibly losing steam. There's no... And he goes for the pin. There's the count. The rift is absolutely flat. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. You see the haunting effect Luke Harper has on WWE fans and its roster of superstars. Just look into the audience when the six foot five, 275 pound horror show makes his way to the ring. It's immediate terror. Well, you said it, Cole. The lights go out in an arena when Luke Harper makes his way to the ring. That's when Fright Night begins. And after seeing him dismantle his opponent, you see the lights go out for whoever Luke Harper ripped apart in the ring. The big question here for Luke Harper is, can he overcome this situation? And I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing left at this point. Well said, Michael, but we've all seen him come back from worse beatings in the past. And he's got to know full well that he can't let his opponent build any more from this momentum he's on. He gets out of trouble there. He anticipated that move perfectly. He's enduring heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match, King. Oh, my gosh, this is awful. I'm going to tell you something. He thinks he has it. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. He's in full-on attack. What a count of that was. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. I'm going to check over here, my guy. This could do it. Maybe he is. slow getting back to his base here. Look at him out there, reaching for the tag. He can't wait to get back in the mix. Luke Harper stands six foot five and 275 pounds. His eerie demeanor aside, Luke Harper's strength, quickness, and brutality is something that's very difficult to go up against. And he doesn't waste any time. Luke Harper goes right after his opponent. It's downright scary.
Chad Gable continues to punish his opponent. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter him. Chad Gable is in position. Elimination. Here are your winners, Jason Jordan. We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs right here next. Big fight feel. It'll be Stardust against Bray Wyatt. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. is brought to you courtesy of my friends at 2K Sports. Wait a minute, Cole. You've got friends at 2K Sports? Somebody wrote that script for me. As a reminder, folks, the champion will be putting the gold on the line in this one. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. The adrenaline running through these two right now has to be at an all-time high. joining us tonight folks we have an amazing night ahead of us yeah and we're just moments away from tonight's opening match i can't wait this is a perfect way to get things going from what we've seen and heard tonight there must be serious injuries no kidding this is going to need some serious medical attention this is a wreck he's moving like an intake down As the action progresses, let's briefly talk about the champion. What can we expect from him in this championship match? It can be lonely at the top. Everybody in that locker room is gunning for you. And you don't know who you can trust. I know one thing, nobody cares what you've done in the past, even if you are the champion. You know, when you look at Bray Wyatt, he may not resemble your traditional WWE superstar, but believe me, he can move in that ring. On top of his twisted mentality, Bray is strong as an ox and quick as a cat. Bray Wyatt will surprise you with his moves for someone who's six foot three and weighs 285 pounds. Oh, what's Bray Wyatt getting ready to do here? Now put your lights out quick. Expanding the repertoire with that move. This man, he's all business, and that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. What makes Bray Wyatt so dangerous is that he actually has the athletic ability and physical strength to systematically dismantle someone exactly the way his ruthless mind tells him to. You talk about demented. Oh, he missed that one. God, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a cold. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, look at this. Play it wide. The shoulders are down. Three, two, three. 